Hello and welcome to Channel's Book Club. I am Olakunle Kasumo. We occasionally get requests to give poetry some more attention. Well, we try to do so. Last week we explored poetry when we shared a report about our visit to the poetry focused book and gauge event at the You Read Library, Yaba, Lagos. Today our guest in this first segment is Femi Peters, the author of this book titled Notes to My God, which is a collection of poems. Femi joins us to discuss poetry and his debut book. Femi, nice to have you on Channel's Book Club. Thanks for having me, sir. I like the title of your book, Notes, a collection of verses to my God. Well, the title of the book is actually Notes to, to my, my God. God. Is, yes. is that correct? That's correct. Yeah, and I, I like the you know cover design, um, white on red, on black. Thank you very you know, much. Very, very, and, then this, and, and then the dimensions. It's not like the regular. Yes, we're trying um, to do something different. Yeah, it's a bit different and, you know. From the regular. Yeah. Okay, nice. So, you're a poet. Yes, I am a poet. This makes you a poet automatically, yes, even is. if you say you're not a poet. Maybe I, I am don't. a poet. <laughs> yes. Now, it, it, it took you how many years to put this together? Ten? Ten. I've been writing a number of these poems since um, 2007. Actually, most of them were between 2007 and 2010. Okay, so when did poetry start for you? Well, I think a while back. I'd always read and I'd always written, but I didn't share until I started a blog anonymously and then I started sharing them, you know, and then the reviews, the comments were encouraging. So I started putting a lot of them more out there. Okay, so I mean, so that probably from the responses probably told you, hey, yes, maybe I've got something there. there. Yes. So um, what we have here is a compilation of some of the things, some of the poems you, have, you posted on your blog. Yes. This actually stemmed from um, a challenge I had. I had issues praying. So I decided to start writing my prayers to God. Okay. So I started chronicling them on paper. And then before you knew, I had about, this is about 74 Whoa, verses. 74. Yes. Oh, and, and of course, they all read like, many of them read like actual prayers. Yes. And then some of them, I could see that you, you, you tweaked them and turned yes. them into... Yes, some of them were like conversations. Yeah. Yes, and then some were just ranting. Maybe when I was in a funny mood and I wanted to talk to God and I just blotted out as I felt. But in um, polished words, so to speak. So this is a, I mean, obviously, clearly a very deeply spiritual um, collection of thoughts. Yes, you know, it is. Very spiritual inc spiritually inclined yes, it um, is. collection of poems. It also doesn't exclude anybody because anybody could pick it. And I've had a number of feedbacks and they said, look, when I read this particular poem or this particular verse, it was like you were speaking my mind. Mm. So you know, experiences. Yes. Yeah, before we come back to maybe the spirituality okay. you know, of, of, of this, the poetry generally, some people find it tricky. Um, it's like you need a particular, um, should I say communication skills or ability? You need a mastery of words. Yes, you have to have a yeah. way with words. You have to have a way with words. Be able yes. To put a poem together, yes. right? Is that correct? rhythms, a way with words, and then, for me, I think the simpler the better, because you don't, want, you don't want to exclude anybody from the message you're trying to convey. But also, it has to be beautiful. It has to be memorable. To be, to be good poetry? Yes. That's the very nature and character of, of, yes, of it poetry. Is. Yes, it is. But poetry is also um, a bit, should I put it this way, difficult for people to swallow, to understand, to grasp. It's not like normal, regular, simple prose. Yes. You know, at times, I I've agree. met people who tell me, oh, poetry. they find poetry boring or yes. something like that. The, is the problem poetry or the way it is written? I think it's a question of both. First, um, a lot of people never got into poetry. So they were not taught, so they didn't get to begin to love poetry at an early age and everything, so they didn't understand it. 
I, find that, I found that challenging as well when I published the poetry book. I just knew there was an ex exclusion that I had a group of people because it wasn't for everybody. Okay. But also, you find out that if you keep your poetry simple, you will have a lot of people who could just read them. I called it verses intentionally so that the word poetry might not scare some people out <laughs> away okay. from it, yes. Okay, okay, because poetry is a word that, I mean, you're right, people, some people. Now, what do I need to be a good poet? Hmm. If I want to start writing poetry now, what do I need to be a good poet? What are, what are the basic things? Um, you have to be insightful. You have to see a lot of things. Your mind's eye has to be clear to pick things that people would normally pick. And then you must have a passion for something. There must be a driving force. And also, you must have an, a way with words, artful arrangement of words. Artful arrangement of words. I like that. Yes. Artful arrangement of words. So you play with words, and then rhythm comes into it, you know, and then um, it just has to become a good read, and then you don't bore them out with too many big words. That's what I think, anyway. OK. So, yes. So, so that's, your, uh, that, that's your definition of boring poetry? Yes. Too many big words. But some people will disagree lost. with you. I, yes. I mean, if you read the poems of certain um, legends, as you call, as yes. we want to call them, some of them are really difficult to understand. Yes. But in that difficulty lies the beauty, some will tell you. True, I agree. The different schools of thoughts really and then there are different kinds of poems. Some poems you find that when you begin to read you get you get to a place and you're lost but some you can follow the rhythm and then you can identify with it and then there's a flow and you enjoy it and then it's filed up in your mind. Okay.